Hello children. Uh, I just want to say it's the end of the year. My God, the time has gone so fast. I still remember the first day that you came into my class, all nervous and all shaky. But look at you now. You have grown so much stronger and so much brighter. And now you know everything. Never say that you can't do. Remember Miss Min's words that always remember that there is no such word as can't. Okay, no such word as can't. You have to remember that you can do. So a word of advice, I want you to keep three things with you. A pencil to keep you always sharp, okay? A gripper for something to hold on to when something gets a little bit tough, when you say, oh, I can't do this. You hold on to that gripper and you say, I will do this and I will try again, okay? And an eraser to remind you, remind you that this is okay. You can make mistakes. It's no problem if you make mistakes. Okay, so those three things I want you to keep with you all the time. All right, I just want to say a big thank you to the lovely parents that I've had this year. You know, I've always said that I've always been blessed with beautiful parents. Thank you, parents, for all your support. I'm handing your little bundle of joy to you again. Please look after them. They are my they are very, very precious to me and they will always stay in my heart forever. If there is anything I can do for any of you, please feel free to contact me. And children, I would love to keep in touch with you always. You can email me with a little letter of your summer journey, your journal. You can make a journal and send to me. I would be really touched to receive your letters and please keep in touch. I can't wait to see you um, grow up into these beautiful children that, that, that you already are, okay? And I want to see you make a future for yourself. I, on this note, I want to say goodbye and God bless you all. And Alex would like to say goodbye to you too. Bye-bye and we wish you a wonderful, wonderful future ahead. Remember, you are strong, you will inspire and you are the ones that can make your future brighter. And remember the biggest, biggest thing, okay, that you are special. Bye-bye. It's a great pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to our virtual graduation ceremony. Um, this morning, we are honoring the hard work, attainment, and the success of our Foundation Stage 2 students. Um, this very graduation ceremony is the culmination of hours and hours of hard work and dedication of learning. Um, even though we are in an unusual situation of not being physically in school, it is important to still hold these events. And I'm sure our little graduates will remember today for a very long time. I would like to start the proceedings by calling upon Zuha to recite from the Holy Quran, followed by uh, a dua from Said Umar and Ahmed. Auzubillahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar rahmanir rahim. Malik yawmid deen. Iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina sirat al-muttaqin Sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim Wairi al-manzubi alayhim wa dhalin Amin Bishrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlal ughatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Amin Inshallah You all to stand up for the national anthem Thank you Mashallah Okay can we stand up for the national anthem
Can I ask our school principal, Mr. Daesh Nichols, to make his address? Yes, well, good morning, everyone. It's absolutely wonderful to see so many of our FS2A students here today with your graduation hats. You all look absolutely amazing. It's a great pleasure to speak to all of the students, teachers and governors in our very first ever virtual graduation. It's a very special event to celebrate the wonderful FS2A students. And I'm honoured to welcome you all here this morning. I'd like to thank every helper, every teacher and every TA who has helped you during your time in FS. And one thing I'm really, really looking forward to is welcoming you all back in September in your new classrooms, with your new teachers and seeing all your friends again. Thank you all very much. Um, thank, you. thank you, Mr. Craig. Okay, so um, students learn to be strong and independent through positive relationships. A teacher provides a warm and loving environment, is sensitive and responsive to their needs and interests and supportive to their efforts and independence. Um, a teacher is a student's key person at school and provides them with the feeling of safety and security away from home. My sincere thanks to Ms. Min, uh, Ms. Uh, Nafisa, the teaching assistant, and Ms. Mel, um, the class helper, who have worked tirelessly, especially during distance learning. In addition, I would like to thank um, uh, and acknowledge our new virtual teachers, you, the parents, who have had a uh, balance, who had to balance your own jobs along with teaching your own children. Please put your hands together for our classroom teachers and a new virtual teacher. Okay. Um, I would like to congratulate our students. You have been through some of the toughest times in recent history and have come out smiling and happy. I would like to ask Ms. Moon now to say a few words and hey, begin with the ceremony. Can I call upon uh, Zoya, please? Zoya, can you unmute yourself, darling? Excellent. Anyway, good morning, everyone. I welcome you all on this memorable day. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for allowing me to be your class teacher. It's been a great pleasure and a rewarding year, not only for myself, but for the children also. I've learned a lot from them as well as they've learned from me. Together, we have grown and learned to strive to be the best. I also learned from them the things which I never thought that I would learn. So thank, I would like to thank each one of you for your warmth and memories and the learning we have shared this year. I wish you all the very best in the future and hope that you will cherish all the fun and love that we have had at school and during distance learning. Believe me, it's been a challenge, but we've done it together. Nothing is impossible without my team, Miss Sarah, Miss Mel, Miss Nafisa, not forgetting Miss Asma, Miss Humera, and not forgetting our inclusion team, who is always there to support us, Miss Gulnas, Miss Annabelle, and not last but not least, least Miss Hazel, who is the backbone of all the computer of the mess ups that happened. So well done to you, Miss Hazel, and every and, and and the whole team. And that's it for me. And we will start now with the Arabic speech by Alia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. We are happy with you in the future. We hope Mashallah. Wasn't she great? Well done. Bravo. Okay, I would like to call upon Mahad for the English welcome speech. Mahad. <laughs> graduation ceremony. Today is a very special and emotional day for all. 
as we little ones graduate and take a leap towards the next step of our lives. This would have not been possible without the support of our teachers and parents. It was a great day in our life. A day to recognize the outstanding work done by us and our teachers. Just looking around, the happy smiling faces of our parents fill our hearts with joy. The whole year round, we have loved coming to school and look forward to learning new things every day. Life is not just about learning to read and write. They are important, but just as important is love and friendship. We made new friends. Through them, we learned about different cultures. And most importantly, we have learned how to love, share, and care for each other. Because in Al Salam, we believe that every child is special. We would like to thank you all for coming here today as we celebrate our graduation day. So please put your hands together for ever to graduates of Al Salam Private School 2019 and 20. Thank you. Wow. wow. That was wow. amazing. Fantastic. Well, I am so proud of you. You know that, Mahat? You did a fantastic job. Every children who just spoke just now, I am so proud of all of you. Well done for that. So let's start the ceremony now with the certificates. Are you ready? Come on. Thumbs up. Ready? Yay. Well done. Now I'm going to ask you a very important question before we start the certificate. So I hope you are ready with the answers. Yeah? I think we're going to start with the, the dance the presentation first. Let's go.
Excellent. Okay, now we can start distributing the certificates. So let's get ready. Everyone seated. Yes, I'm going to go to Adam. Adam, can you unmute yourself, sweetheart? Right, Adam, can you tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be? Um, you want to be a scientist, right? And a scientist you will be. Adam, I'm not joking, but he tells me A to Z, everything about little tiny mini bees to animals. His favorite is the spider. Right, and he can give you all the information about the spiders, right, Adam? Yeah. Yes, so well done for that. So he's our little explorer, very in inquisitive to the core, a born scientist, like a ray of sunshine in the class. He's definitely Albert Einstein in the making. Well done to you, Adam. High five. High five. Bravo. Yay. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Next in line, we have Ahmed. Right, can you tell me what do you want to be when you grow up? Policeman. A policeman? And why would you want to be a policeman? Because I have a car and I, I go to no. uh, <laughs> the, the, which to take the money, I go. And then I go in front of them, and then I, I just go down and I take them. Okay, I'm sure you'll be a fantastic policeman. Okay, Ahmed is our active member of our class who has achieved amazing goals in maths and science. He loves taking, talking about his culture of the UAE and shares his knowledge with, uh, of his beautiful country. Well done, Ahmed. Super. Next, we're in line. We have Asan. Asan, can you unmute yourself, please? Now, Asan, what would you like to be when you grow up? A uh, fireman. Fireman? What does a fireman do? He cleans fire. He 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 what? He he what? He takes out the fire. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And I'm sure you, you know, in, in uh, the role play corner when school was open, he's always there. He's always dressed up as a firefighter uh, and uh, pretending to be the fireman. So I'm definitely sure he's going to be that. He's very confident and caring. He enjoys computer games. He has shown excellent progress with maths and phonics. During our International Day celebration, he proudly shared his knowledge about his own country of Pakistan. I really enjoyed that. You know that, Esan? You talking about Pakistan? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Esan. <laughs> right, next in line, we have Aisha. Okay, Aisha, can you tell me what you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. A doctor? What does a doctor do? <laughs> Aisha, what does a doctor do, darling? What does a doctor do, sweetie? He, he what, sweetheart? He cures people. That's right. Yeah, he cures people. Well done. I am sure you're going to be a great doctor and find a way to cure this disease that we have, right? Aisha? Yes? Aisha is a little quiet, but she's very, very alert. Great actress who loves to showcase her writing and drawing skills. Well done, Aisha. Super. Thank you for that. What does a doctor do, sweetie? He, he what, sweetheart? He cures people. That's right. Yeah, he cures people. Well done. I am sure you're going to be a great doctor and find a way to cure this disease that we have, right? Cha? Yes? Aisha is a little quiet, but she's very, very alert. Great actress who loves to showcase her writing and drawing skills. Well done, Aisha. Super. Thank you for that. Next in line, we have Aiza Atif. Right, can you tell me what you want to be when you grow up, Aisha? A doctor is... A doctor? 
Yes, bravo. Well done. We've got lots of doctors in FS2A. Well done, Aisha. Uh, Aiza. Sweet student with a beautiful smile and excellent attitude towards learning. She enjoys exploring hands-on um, hands experiments and maths activities. Well done, Aiza. Great job. Next in line, we have Isa Munzer. Isa, can you unmute yourself, sweetheart? Now, can you tell me what do you want to be when you grow up? A teacher. A teacher. And what would you like to teach? I just like to teach my. I want to teach my sister. You want to teach your sister? You think you're going to be like Miss Ming? Yeah. <laughs> I love to be a teacher. Oh, I'm sure you're going to be a. Oh, I'm sure you're going to be a fantastic teacher because yes, Isa loves to help the children learn uh, new skills that she has learned. So that's fantastic. Well done to you, Isa. Isa is an amazing and confident child, excellent reader, fantastic reader, I should say, and uh, and has a great imagination, which shows in her reading and writing skills. Well done to you, Isa. <laughs> Next in line, we have sweet Alia. Alia, are you there? Oh, um, Miss um, Hazel, I think we'll have to do Alia later on. Yes, we'll have to go back to Alia after because we can't get right. Okay. Uh, next in line, we have Aisol. Good morning. Good morning, my darling. Are you okay? Yes. Okay, tell me, what would you like to be when you grow up? Uh, artist. artist, artist. An artist, that's right. Aisel is very, very creative. When school was open, she was always in the creative corner making wonderful art and craft and definitely you would be an artist, 101%. She's extremely responsible. Anything I give her, she goes and does it with her, with, with her heart, I, I should say. Very active, uh, active child in the class. Amazing progress with reading, writing and enjoys art and craft. There you go. <laughs> well done, uh, Aisel. Next in line, we have Dave. Good morning. Good morning, darling. Are you okay? Yes. Okay, what would you like to be when you grow up? Doctor. So what kind of doctor are you going to be, darling? Animal. Animal doctor. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, you like to work with animals, dear? Yeah? Yes. Right. Wonderful. Right. Okay, Dia is a very polite and helpful student. Achieved amazing goals, especially with maths and science. She enjoys working with recycled materials and showing off her creativity. She has a great mindset to reach for the stars. So what that we have done for the prize activity, let me tell you, this little girl has explored. She's always sending her we have done. So well done to you, Dia. Well done. Next in line, we have Hamdan. <laughs> Where is? I want to see that cheeky smile, please. Where is that cheeky smile, Hamdan? <laughs> Mommy, I think Hamdan needs help, please. Computer, thank you. Now, Hamdan, can 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 everyone see that cheeky smile on your face? That's good. <laughs> now, tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A builder. A builder. And what are you going to build? I'm going to build a house. A house for who? For us. For us? Can you build me a house? A nice big yeah. bungalow. Yeah. <laughs> Let me, I'm sure you make a great builder, Hamdan. Hamdan has a lovely cheeky smile, but very adorable. Amazing confidence and enjoys challenge in maths. His favorite subject is maths. Any challenge you give him, he is there and ready to roll. Well done, Hamdan. Super. Right. In line, we have Khalid. Right, Khalid. Um, is Khalid there? There he is, he's looking at me. Miss Bin, I'm here. Okay, Khalid, can you tell me what are you going to be when you grow up? What do you want to be? Principal. Uh, did you say principal? <laughs> okay, sweetie, now you can talk. What do you want to be when you grow up? 
Principal. A principal. Okay, Mr. Craig, you better watch it because we have a principal on the line. <laughs> on the line, I think. <laughs> Who's going to take over your job? All right. So Khalid is an amazing, confident, and extremely hardworking student who enjoys discussion yes. during circle times. One minute, Khalid. Uh, he has an excellent progress with uh, with communication and language and literacy skills. Well done, Ka of Khalid. Yes, sweetheart, you wanted to talk to me. Tell me. I can count to 101. Oh, wow, that's amazing. We'll all give you a clap for that. Carry on with the good work, okay, Khalid? Super duper lemon squeezy. Well done. You can <laughs> Next in line, we have Mahat. Mashallah, Mahat, can you un unmute your computer, sweetie? <laughs> Good morning, Sorry. Good morning. What do you want to be when you grow up? A paleontologist. Oh, wow. That's a very long word. What does that do then? Can you tell me? Because I don't know what that person they, does. They search for dinosaur bones. Oh, really? That's an exciting job, right? Yeah? And I am sure with your little mind, you can be anything, really. A great role model, an excellent attitude towards learning. He has worked with enthusiasm with the whole curriculum and always eager to learn more. Well done, hey. man. Amazing. Super. <laughs> Next in line, we have Mariam. Hi, Mariam. Where are you, sweetie? Mariam. Hi, my gorgeous. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. You look so beautiful in that hat. Do you know that? I love your hair. You look gorgeous. Can you tell me what do you want to be? What do you want to be when you grow up? Come closer to the camera so we can hear you, Mariam. Doctor. What do you want to be? Doctor. A doctor like your daddy, right? Yes. Mashallah, on Father's Day, dad actually uh, was working in the hospital and he came especially for the event proud of the family mashallah they've been so cooperative well done to you um mariam and i'm sure you're going to be a super doctor like your dad yes a super energetic member of the class with great communication skills she enjoys helping others and achieve great goals with math and reading well done, mariam thank you you're welcome sweetie. can you mute yourself now darling Next in line, we have Noor. Noor, are you okay, sweetie? Can you mute your... Yeah, well done, super. Really there. Okay, maybe we will, we will continue. Can, can we come back? When you sort it out, then we can come back to you, Noor. Okay, no problem. That's fine. We got next in line is Norala. Norala. Hi, sweetheart, are you okay? Yeah. All right, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, underneath. Sorry, say that again. Uh, I'm oh, okay, Nora, can you have to give me two minutes, darling. I'm just in, with Nola, and then when I, I will come back to you, okay? Just give me two minutes, yeah? Sorry, Nola, you were saying, what, what, what do you want to be? An uh, engineer. An engineer, like your dad, right? Yeah. I am sure you're going to be a fantastic engineer. Do you know what an engineer does? Yeah. What, is, what does an engineer do? He build. He builds, that's right. And do you think he needs to measure before he builds? Yeah. Definitely, you're absolutely right. Very energetic and highly motivated student who has shown amazing attitude towards his learning journey. He enjoys acting out roles as a builder, a doctor, and a firefighter. Well done. And he's done amazing in the uh, learning. Well done to you, Anurla. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Thank you. Um, hi, Noor. Are you okay, sweetie? Yes. Okay, tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? An engineer. An engineer? Wow, we've got lots of engineers, doctors, mashallah. A lot of careers coming your way, huh? And what does an engineer do? Can you tell me? They know how to fix food and fix... <laughs> And be a and they can make houses. Make lots of lovely houses, right? Well done, sir. What about schools? And in a hotel. And a hotel? Would you like to make a school also, please? 
<laughs> yes, I'm sure. Okay. She's my little actress. Enjoys dressing up and acting and dancing and drama. Worked, uh, worked to her best ability throughout the curriculum and enjoys challenges. She enjoys math concepts. I'm sure with engineering, that will go a long way. Well done to you, Noor. Noor. Super. All right. Next is Omar. Hi, Omar. Hi, 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 How are you, my darling? Are you okay? Yes. yes. Are, are you enjoying the program? Yes. Yes. Now, can you tell me? I know what you want to be, but I want you to tell everyone else. What do you want to be when you grow up? Police a builder. Oh, I thought he was a policeman. You changed your mind? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, so you want to be a builder now, yeah? And what are you going to build? A house. For who? For my who sister. Who do you build a house for? For my baby sister. Oh, for your family? Yes? For my okay. baby sister. <laughs> oh, for your sister. That's so sweet, mashallah. I'm sure she'll be very happy to have a brother who builds houses, right, Omar? Now, Omar, very confident, very, very energetic, a superstar who has worked so hard and is now among the shining stars of the class. Well done to you, Omar. Super. Next in line, we have sweet Riona. I need uh, Riona. Is she there? Yeah. Yes. How are you, Riona? You okay? I love your hat. Are you okay? Yeah. So, what does Riona want to be when she grows up? Uh, chef. A chef? Oh my goodness. Now, can you tell me, what does a chef do? Does he do gardening? Cooks. Oh, he cooks? And what are you going to cook? Uh, anything. Anything? So, if I come to your house, are you going to make me my favorite dishes? Yes? yes yes thank you so much i'm looking i'm gonna look forward to that yeah riona she's a little, she's a little miss explorer who enjoys messy play any messy play we do she puts her hands into it right miss nafisa <laughs> miss nafisa and miss Nath also agrees she's the first one to put her hands in, uh, inside the dirt um she has shown great determination and improvement throughout her learning journey. Well done to you, Riona. Amazing hard work she has done, and she's progressed so beautifully, especially with her writing and reading skills. Well done. Next in line, we have our little drama queen, Miss Riva. <laughs> Riva, can you unmute yourself, sweetheart? <laughs> How? How are you? Are you not doing this? I can I can I tell you wait, 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 wait for me. Of course you can tell me, please. I'm ready for you. Go ahead, Miss Moon. Go um Miss Man. Yes. I want to tell I'm so you sorry, Melanie, we can't I want to grow up. Okay. I want to be a bad Okay, Nina tell me and what a pilot and I want to be a Fortnite girl. Oh my goodness, so many things that you have in your mind, right? I want to be you, a bad you can be all three. Wow, that's amazing. And I'm so excited for you. I am sure you can be all three in one. Uh, Riva? <laughs> Definitely. I love your hat because you put some nice creative work yeah. on your hat, all right? It's gorgeous. Does it say star on your hat? Yes? Definitely a star. She, Riva is little Miss Busy Bee. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why she's Busy Bee, because every time I meet DL, yes. to get my attention, she does this. Miss Min, Miss Min, Miss Min. <laughs> and she, lo she loves to sing and dance and, and is a computer wizard, fantastic with her computer skills. She has shown excellent progress with reading, writing, and not forgetting her computer skills. Well done to you, Riva. Excellent. Super. The heart of my, the heart of uh, um, our class. Yeah, next in line, we have our class. Uh, 
Mashallah. Hi, Sama. Say hi to Miss Wynn, sweetie. She Say hi to Miss Wynn, Sama. Say hi to and can everyone wave at Sama, please? Everyone wave at Sama because she loves looking at the children also. Hi, sister. How are you, my darling? Are you okay? How are you? Yes, Sama. Mashallah, mashallah. Sama is little Miss Adorable with a beautiful smile. She's the heart of the class. She enjoys working on art and craft and her favorite cooking and dancing. She has improved, especially with her formation and numbers. Well done to you, Sama. God bless. Super <laughs> Sama. <laughs> Next in line, we have my friend Sanet. Where are you, Sanet? He's been waiting impatiently since I think 8:30 this morning. <laughs> Look at that beautiful hat, Mr. Handsome. Can you tell me what are you want to be when you want when you want when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? Working helicopter. Oh, you want to fly a helicopter or you want to be a pilot? Pilot. A pilot, but you want to fly a helicopter. Wow, that's amazing. I'm sure you can do that, Mr. Sanet. Huh? Sanet is a very, very confident, uh, a confident child. He enjoys dressing up and playing different roles. He is Luna, a master. Luna. Okay. <laughs> Helicopter takes too, too much money. Oh, really? <laughs> so much really? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you about yourself now. Yes, Anat? Uh, he's a very confident child who enjoys dressing up and playing different. It's going to die. Okay, my darling. Now, whose turn is it going to be? Is it my turn or your turn, Sanad? Is it going to be my turn to talk? Thank you so much, Sanad. Okay, let me tell you. Tell, let me tell everybody about you. Yes? Thank you so much, Sanad. Very confident, enjoys dressing up and playing with different roles. He is a maths fanatic and enjoys working with challenges. He's a keen reader and he enjoys getting his hands on scientific experiments. Definitely one of the top points about Sanat is his maths and science. Well done to you, Sanat. Super. <laughs> Next in line, we have sweet Sado Ma. Sado Ma, where are you, darling? I'm here. I'm here. Are you okay, sweetie? Yes. Yes. Are you enjoying the program? Yes. And can you tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a pilot. You want to be a pilot too? Wow, so many pilots. And do you think you can take me for free in your yes. plane? Yes. So I don't have to pay for my ticket when I go back home, right? <laughs> Let me tell you something about Sadoma. Very inquisitive to the core. A born inventor, great role model. He enjoys showing off his creativity by making his favorite superheroes with blocks. Yes, with blocks. Anything, anytime, anytime I give him blocks uh, to explore with, he'll come back and make me all sorts of things. So well done for that. He has shown excellent progress with his maths and phonics. So well done to you, Sayyid Omar. Super. Sayyid Omar, can you mute yourself, darling? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, sweet. Yeah, thank you. All right, next in line, we have sweet Yashelle. Yashelle, where are you, darling? There she is. She's all ready. She's wiping her face. Hi, Yashelle. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, and what do you want to be when you grow up, darling? A painter. A painter, because I know that you paint so well in the class, right? Yes. Yes, let me tell you a little bit about yourself, okay? She's little Miss Delightful. Active, she's very active active in the class, enjoys play-based learning and has worked to her best ability to reach her goals. Well done, you're a shining star of the class. Well done to you, Michelle. Super. Last but not least, well, it's not last, it's second last actually, is my friend Zoya. Where is Zoya? <laughs> I, every time, <laughs> every time I call her her name, her eyes just lit up bright. How are you? Are you okay? Zoya, 
Yes, you know, I'm really proud of you because you gave that entrance so beautiful, the introduction. Yeah? Now, can you tell everybody what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be? I want to be a gardener. You want to be a gardener? Wow! And what are you going to plant? I'm going to plant flowers. Oh! And you're going to plant flowers? Can you name me some of the flowers you're going to plant? Mm -hmm. Do you like roses? Yeah. And what else? What else do you think you can plant? Uh, daisies. Oh, daisies. <laughs> I like daisies too. I love daisies too. Let me tell you a little bit about Zoya. Zoya is an amazing, confident, and a little chatterbox in the class. Mashallah. Mm -hmm. Very active <laughs> member of the class who has shown excellent attitude towards her learning journey. She enjoys talking to others about her family and friends. So mommy, be careful. I know all your secrets because little Miss Madden will come to you all the time <laughs> telling me about the secrets. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And last but not least, it's uh, Zuha. Zuha, where Zuha. are you, darling? Zuha, where are you, sweetheart? Yeah, can you unmute yourself, darling? And, with, and what does Zoha want to be when she grows up? A doctor. A doctor. And what kind of doctor do you think you want to be? An animal doctor. An animal doctor. So you like to play with, you like you like to know a lot about animals also, right, Zoha? Yeah. Yes, and I'm sure you'll be a fantastic one. Let me tell you a little bit about Zoha. Zoha loves writing. And she Hi, is... Mama. She is a writing, uh, please mommies, can I have your mics muted so we can listen to what we have to say about Zoha? Thank you so much. Yeah, she's a writer in, in, uh, in making, very independent and has an amazing attitude towards learning. She enjoys writing and creativity and works towards challenge. She loves challenging activities. So well done to you, the Zoha, and she has worked exceptionally wonderful during DL. I think all the children have. So well done to you. Miss Hazel, I think we need to go back to Alia. I hope she's there. I think yeah. she's not there still. Alia, are you there, darling? No, she's here. Yeah, oh, great. Lovely. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she's here. Yeah. Tell me, Alia, what do you want to be when you grow up? You grow up, sweetie. I want to be... Huh? One, one. I want to be... Oh, you want to be a painter? <laughs> you, want to be a painter. you want to be a painter, mashallah. You will be a painter because I know that in that corner of ours at school, you I have to pull you away from that, right? <laughs> because she's so busy being very creative and painting all the time. Yeah. Yes, well done to you, Alia. Alia is a very sweet, confident student with a million dollar smile. Uh, she enjoys hands on learning, especially the role play corner. <laughs> And, and has shown great uh, achievement in many areas of her classwork. So well done to you, Alia. Super. And that brings us to the end. That brings us to the end of our session. I think, yes. And I think Miss uh, Asma. There you go. I would like to say a very special thanks to Mr. Blue, especially for being the backbone of my career and everyone else also. So thank you, Ms. Sue, for all your help and support that you've always given us. Thank you so much. I'd like to call upon Mariam. Mariam, are you ready, sweetie, for the farewell poem? Yes. Can you unmute yourself? Yes, okay, let's go. Mashallah, mashallah. She's done so well there, alhamdulillah. That was amazing, Mariam. So proud of you, sweetheart. Now, can I call upon Aiza, Aiza Manzar, for the farewell speech in English? Mm -hmm. 
It's time to say goodbye. Our time has come to an end. We have made some cherished memories with all our preschool friends. We have watched each other learn and grow and change from day to day. We hope that all the things we have done will help us along the way. So it's with happy memories we'll all go out the door with great hope and expectations from what next year holds in store. Thank you to our dear teachers who helped us get this far and those other people you know who you are to all our assistants and helpers not forgetting our family and friends. Thank you for all your help in to guiding us to love, share and care. Goodbye Foundation. It's graduation day. Mashallah, she's done so well. Alhamdulillah, you are amazing. How all those children Thank that you. took part today, that's everybody. You did a fantastic job. And Miss Min is so, so proud of all of you. You know that? Yeah, I personally would like to thank Miss Melanie for all the pictures that you have seen today, especially this one. She's in charge. So thank you so much to Miss Melanie. I would like to uh, call upon Miss Sue now for the vote of thanks. I'm here online, so I'm quite happy to speak. I just did the pre-recording in case I got called away urgently. But I have to say, what a wonderful and very special occasion. It's been such a pleasure to uh, be here with you today. See you, I've missed you all so much. Congratulations to our graduates. Really, you've done so well. You've adjusted to the new learning environment and, and the new world that we live in now. And I'm so much looking forward to seeing you in year one. A special thanks to all our dear staff who have worked tirelessly um, with the distance learning. And I have to appreciate our dear parents oh, as well. Yes, we love I'm sure they give ever such a lot of support to you, the students. So congratulations to each and every one of you. You've done so well, mashallah. And uh, so excited, inshallah, to be back at school in September and actually yeah. see you. So yeah, well you, everybody and congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Sue. And that brings the end of our graduation. Ms. Sarah, would you like to say anything? Thank you, Min. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we will be sending you the certificates through email. Hope you have a great day. See Thank you, Min, for all your support and everything that you have done for FS2A. It's really well appreciated um, from my side. And we wish the children all the very best for the new year ahead, inshallah. Bye bye, Miss Lynn. Bye bye, my darling. You take bye care. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.